Well, through much persuasion with a large ball peen hammer, I was able to tap this around far enough so I could get this wrench on it and put some leverage on it. And I was able to twist this all the way around to this point. It was difficult, but I was able to do it. But what I learned in doing that was that this rotated with this, which means that this piece is still tightly seized onto this piece, but that this piece is now moving inside of the mount. So maybe I can get this whole tube out of the mount, which would, which would be great because then I could clean it up and I could try and put something on there to make sure it doesn't seize up again. And again, I've looked at this before. Underneath here, there's no grease fittings or anything in this thing, which is kind of perplexing. Again, I don't know if by design, if this tube is supposed to be able to be able to move inside the mount or whether or not these brackets are supposed to just rotate on the tube like on the other side. All right, this is so badly seized in here that I really think I need to press this out. So I want to get this whole bracket assembly out. Well, these two nuts down here came off suspiciously easily, which led me to believe I was going to have some kind of a problem, which I think this piece might be seized onto these studs. So they're going to need a little bit of coaxing, but I can't do any of that even until I get this weird metal band which, by the way, I have no idea what this does. Uh, what is this, an insurance policy if these nuts fall off? But anyways, this metal band, horseshoe shaped piece, is held in by what appears to be a bolt that goes all the way through with a nut on the other side. The nut on the other side came off no problem. The problem is the bolt. I just tried putting as much force as I could on it with my 3 8 long handle ratchet, which is a it's a Harbor Freight special Pittsburgh tool, but it's a flex head, so I like it. It's got a nice long handle, but I can't really put much more force on it without something breaking. So now I've got a breaker bar extra long. So the question is, does the head just snap off? Or does it actually break free? I think it's snapping. Oh, actually, it just slipped on the head. That's really something. I tried backing the nut off and hitting this with a ball peen hammer to see if I could get this to pop out. It didn't want to move. Try that again. That's just nuts. Why is that in there so tight? Of course, the answer would be it's seized. So this is a uh, Sears Craftsman uh, special socket set that is supposed to be designed for taking out rusted, rounded headed bolts and nuts. And what just happened is it just cracked right there. So now what happens is when you uh, put force on it, that crack spreads open and these teeth jump. So that is failure. I'm glad I didn't buy this set new. I think I picked this up at a, I don't remember where I got this, but that's a shame. All right, let's give this set a shot. This I did buy brand new. That doesn't seem to be moving at all.
finally. Something finally gave. The damn bolt broke. What I'm wondering now is whether or not, even if I get this off, whether or not I'm gonna be able to get this off. Oh, that's moving. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's, that's gonna come off, huh? She was. All right, I changed gears. I read online that you should try removing this tube as a last resort, and that we should just focus on trying to free up where the brackets swivel on the tube itself. So what I just did, the battery in the GoPro died and I didn't want to stop working, so I didn't film it, but I basically, I took my map gas with my turbo torch, which makes a big difference. It, it creates, I've got an oxy acetylene setup. I could drag that over here and really put some serious heat to this if I needed to, but it turns out in this case, this is more than sufficient. I can get this tube to start glowing in areas uh, cherry red. That's how hot I got that thing. I also use one of my favorite penetrance PB blaster. And the combination of the two and a big old wrench on here to basically give me something for leverage. I am now able to move this. I am able to move this and this stays stationary now. What I need to see is I need to see whether or not I can get this off of here. I can see it's space opening up so it's moving. It's interesting, I was just wondering about how much cleaning I would have to do to this tube to prep it for the new brackets. Perfectly free. <laughs> I'll clean it up a little bit and we'll put some lube in there. And then there's these nylon, well actually that's a metal shim, that's interesting. I think in later years they used nylon washers. That actually looks like a stainless shim, so we won't bother changing that. I think we're on the road to recovery. I'm gonna have to fix the mess I made down there. Really wishing I had left well enough alone with that. Turns out that was completely unnecessary and now I broke that bolt. Well, while I'm waiting for that battery to charge so we can work on the Arian's tra tractor for my youngest son, figure I'll try and get this uh, broken off bolt out on the outboard motor here. No, the motor didn't fall. That's, uh, I decided to, I didn't want to leave it hanging from the front end loader on the, the old Oliver, because the old Oliver's loader tends to, over time, it slowly goes down. And if you just kind of leave something on it, eventually that thing will end up on the ground and possibly even crushed underneath it. So, not cool. So I decided to lay it down, uh, kind of use that uh, stand on its side and propped it up against it and threw a tarp over it because we had some rain. Uh, but actually that's going to work to my advantage I think in getting this bolt out. You know, instead of having just this free swinging moving back and forth deal, now that should stay fairly, stay fairly put so I can put some force on it. I already uh, put some PB blaster in there and the good news is the PB blaster looked like it went down in there so I think you might be able to get this out. I am going to put on some hearing protection because I don't like damaging my ears with these noises. I've got a couple different punches here, but to start, since, since it's not recessed into the hole yet, let move this out of the way, it's not recessed in the hole yet, I need to get this started, so I'm going to try just punching right in the center.
Well, I'm able to get the nut on the other side cherry red. Hopefully enough of that heat's transferring up through. The only thing that would be really horrible is if this is actually a threaded hole that, that this bolt threads through and that that nut on the other side just locks it on there. That would be a, that'd be a real stinker. Oh, that drill needs sharpening. All right, the last time I worked on this, I was in the process of trying to get this broken bolt out of this hole. And, and I had uh, started drilling, trying to drill it out. And I drilled out quite a bit of it and tried using a punch and it wouldn't come out. And then, much to my dismay, I think the drill bit wandered and I started to go off at an angle. And I realized that if I didn't, uh, if I didn't stop, I'd run the risk of actually coming right out of the side of the aluminum housing here. So I said, well, you know, judging from the depth that I had managed to drill this down to, I figured, boy, there can't be much of that bolt left in there. So I decided to put a punch in and try and punch it out. And what I ended up doing was I ended up managing to get this punch actually jammed in there. So I think the punch started to follow the drill hole and it actually went to the, like the side of the, what's remainder of the bolt in there. So now I got this stuck in there really bad, which is not good. So I've decided at this point to uh, flip this over and attack that bolt from the other side. Again, I still can't figure out why that's not coming out. It's strange to me that that bolt would be threaded on the other side into the housing, but I don't know. So all I know is I need to get that out. If I can clear the hole from both sides and get a bolt to go all the way through to hold this strap in position, that's all we care about at this point. So there's really only one way to lift this thing up because it weighs a ton and that's to use the front end loader. What? That is a nasty spider web to it. You I know. A spider in the middle of it. Yeah, I know. What do you mean you know? I saw it. Put it there? No. Yeah, he's like, you put that fake pod with it. He just denied all my choices. I didn't do that. I'm not going to. I don't believe you that you put it there. You didn't put it there. Not my favorite. Stupid thing. What? The uh, uh. Key's stuck. I gotta get some lube. And then when I shut it down, it's still cranking the engine. Probably that key switch got stuck in the crank position. I really need to replace that with a new key switch. Why don't you? I gotta order one. Probably see if I can get a weatherproof one. off center again.
What are you doing? With what? With the thing. What thing? That foam thing? Slide. I put it up as a, I put it up there so that I could pull forward because I can't see the motor when I'm driving. So I, but I can look at that. When I know the front tire's up to that, I know that that's close enough that I can hook up to it and lift it without having to worry about running it over. Why didn't you use like a bucket or something? Because I thought I could lay, stand that up. I didn't know it was going to... What's with the third degree? Well, this strap isn't worth saving. This whole thing's junk. Just like it. <laughs> oh, throw this in the back of the wagon, would you? Yeah, more. Over there. Oh. That's going to go in the trash. I love you just the way you are. Does he love you? Yeah, he's singing out of tune. Out of key. I hate you all. I tapped out of it. Oh. That green spider bit me. I feel strange now. Good. You're not Spider-Man. I'm undergoing changes. Psychopath. Psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> That's not nice. All right. So here's the other end of that. What's left of that bolt right here? With this nut on it. Now I had taken this nut completely off, and that didn't seem to make much of a difference to this thing. Uh, this discoloration right here is just an indication of how hot I got this thing with the torch. That didn't seem to make much difference either. So it's quite strange to me how that's stuck in there so badly. There isn't enough room in there for me to like put two nuts on there, lock them against each other and try and use that almost as if like the, the head of the bolt to remove it. Uh, if I really wanted to get fancy, I could bring this over by the bulkhead and I could tack weld this on the end right here and then try and use a socket on here. Other thing is, if I actually tighten this nut, you would think since the bolt doesn't go all the way through anymore, and it's effectively partially removed, that the, uh, the nut screwing down on what's left of the bolt might have the, the action to pull this out and extract it. Why don't you use a air thing? Because that'll just definitely, I, I, if, it'll probably just snap that right off. Which is going to maybe happen anyways, I don't know. I also didn't really want to, well, let's see. Let's just try and turn it and see what happens. Yeah, so I mean, I could easily unscrew this nut, but that doesn't seem to do anything for us. Uh, I even pounded on this end kept the nut on here while I was banging on this to try and keep you know the damage to the end of the threads there uh, at a minimum just in case I needed them later that was back when I thought I might end up reusing that of course now it's completely destroyed so I don't really need that ah let me try banging on it again since I've since I've removed drilled out a lot of it and also applied so much heat to it I'm going to start drilling out this side. <sighs> this rate, I'm going to get into the end of that uh, pin punch that I got stuck in the other side which is hardened so I definitely don't want to be trying to drill into that. I think I forgot to hit the record button but I drilled another hole and then pounded on it and it started to move and it finally popped out. All right so I think I missed that last part there but what I ended up doing is I, I drilled another hole adjacent to the whole bolt that broke through 
to somewhere inside the housing. And then uh, I put a punch on it and started beating the bejesus out of it. And it started to move. Once it started to move, I drove it right back through and out the, the side that the punch was stuck in. And this is what came out. So get a load of this. This is, this is the side I got the punch stuck in. You can see the drill. I actually did a pretty good job initially hitting the center. Okay, that's like 90% removed. But then you can see as I went down, it started to go off. And the punch got stuck down here somehow. And then this is the other side that I started working on with the small drills. So that's interesting. You can see how far off. This is, this is probably the side of the drill bit from this side maybe. I don't know. But it's out and I've got a hole going clear through from one side to the other that I could put a new bolt in now. So thank goodness.